Hi guys, hope you brought your thinking caps tonight. The shadow's here, hey. and that can only mean super intellectual stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> now first to go tonight, we left off on issue number 68. Mm -hmm. And there's a few good ones here, including the third edition of Word Up. But before we do that, there's a couple others so that we can parlay the, two, the next two Word Ups together. First one is called Brain Teaser and Intelligence Quiz. Okay. Lots of information going on there. Oh, right into it, huh? The next shape in this series. D. Yep. Oh, that was good. That was the good noise. Yes, it was the good noise. Four people go to a baseball game. They purchase tickets four seats in a row. This lines itself out like one of those logic puzzle grids. Uh. Chris agrees to sit beside Tom, but not okay. next to Bill. So that eliminates choice B because Bill and Chris cannot be next to each other. And well, that eliminates all but D because Chris and Tom are only next to each other in D. Uh, so we say D. Nice deduction. And the lights on the bottom left actually do light up accordingly. Ah, okay. If a dog has a value of one and a bulldog a value of two, what is the value of a collie? Well, wow. all I know is a bulldog value of two. Nothing else is said about any other breed of dog. Yeah, so I one. have to, I have to say one. That's incorrect, huh? All what right. Is it, then? it doesn't say. Perhaps we'll get a second chance. A is to E as B is to... I would figure this to be the next vowel versus C. the next consonant, yes. Yeah. That's it. And by C, I mean, of course, answer B. Mm-hmm. A, B, B, C, C, A, uh. D, W. Uh, this one would be 23. Yep. Three, then six, or three times two. Plus six times two, or 12, and no, so No, no, it's, um, it's actually just plus uh, whatever number comes after it. Hmm? Two plus three, five plus six, 11 plus 12, 47 plus 48. That's another good way to do it. Both are legit, I think, because think about two. Oh. Two plus three equals five. Uh -huh. Five plus three times two equals 11. Mm -hmm. 11 plus the previous edition, six times two is 23. Yeah. So lesson there, folks. There's more than one way to get there. Shadows is good. Mine is good. We. Oh. A man decided to go shopping at a store where there are no price tags, but the store owner has a formula for calculating the price of each item. If a hat costs six dollars, a shirt ten, and a tie six, how much would a belt cost? What? Um. What? A hat and a tie. And a belt. They're not like... I feel like there's insufficient information here. What I'm doing is a, is a complete grasp, but I'm thinking a shirt is a vital piece of clothing. A hat and a tie are not, and they cost the same. A belt also is not. I'm inclined to say A, to put it in that okay. grouping. Okay. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> then what was it? Yeah. <laughs> I hope they I hope they get around to this at the end. 
If you start two clocks at the same time and one is one minute too fast per hour while the other is two minutes too slow per hour, how many hours will have elapsed when one is ahead of the other by one hour? Okay, so in one hour, that's three minutes. Ten hours. You say ten hours? Yeah. What's your uh, What's your basis? Um, in one hour, they are three minutes apart. Then hour after that, they are six minutes apart. And if you keep going, and by math, uh, that gets you to thirty no, minutes. No, that's wrong. No. Twenty hours. Twenty hours. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Twenty hours. When the ages of two sisters, Sarah and Susan, are combined, the sum is 44. Sarah is exactly twice as old as Susan was when Sarah was half as old as Susan will be when... <laughs> Strike that. Go back. Let me try that one more time. Sarah is exactly twice as old as Susan was when Sarah was half as old as Susan will be when Susan is three times as old as... Sarah. Mm. I'm having a stroke. They could have worded this so much better. That's a, that's the point. They're trying to trip you up with this one. <sighs> okay. Let me let me do some do some writing here. So let's. Okay. Sarah was exactly twice as old as Susan was. So Sarah's older. We know that. Aha! Wait a minute. I might have figured it out. Um. Hang on. No, I have not. Hmm. Sarah is... Okay, so let's do it like this. 31 and a quarter for Sarah would make Susan 12 and three quarters. 34 and two thirds would make Sarah nine and a quarter and a third, rather. 27 and a half would make Susan 16 and a half. And then 24 and a half would make Susan 19 and a half. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the better way to do it. All right, so Sarah is exactly twice as old as Susan was when Sarah was half as old as Susan will be when Susan is three times as old as Sarah was when Sarah was three times as old as Susan. So... At this, Sarah, three times as old as Susan. So, and so, let's chop three. No, that's not it. Eight over twenty-seven, twenty-six, six twenty-five. 
and eight and three quarters, 17, 26. This is a ton of math. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to see their solution to this just in the interest of time. So I'm going to say when in doubt, pick C and hope that they circle back and tell us. Cool. Oh, wow. All right. So with an 11 year disparity, five and 16. Huh. Somehow it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Which image would come next in this above sequence? I'm having major ancient empires flashbacks. Mm. The, tri um. the triangle is moving a perfect clockwise. Offhand, it looks like it's going to be D. Nah. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking A just based on the triangle's position, but yeah. we'll see. I hope. Which drawing in the bottom row logically comes next in the series that is shown in the top row? Now, see, it could be either C or D, depending on what pattern you want to make. I could actually make a case for B. And I yeah. say that and I say that based on you have the first image. Clockwise 45. Counterclockwise 90 for the next one. Clockwise 45. Uh, you meant counterclockwise 45 for that first one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I did. Okay, let me let me redo that. So counterclockwise once, counterclockwise twice, counterclockwise three times. Actually it's A. It's A, yeah. Counterclockwise four times is just back where it was. Or maybe scallops are flying out of my pants. Oof. Oh oh good, more ancient empires. Uh, the baby's going to be doing stuff like this one day. Mm -hmm. and a. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. All Winkles are Franchies. All Franchies are light blue. Some Franchies are horn swoggles. Oh, no, one of these. Mm. Okay, so hold on. These are uh, These are fake words, yeah? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Um, it's A. It is. Hornswoggle was a hornswoggle. And only some Francis are hornswoggles. Mm. Not all. But uh, since yeah. all winkles are Francis, therefore some winkles may not be horn swoggles. Mm. But since all winkles are Francis and all Francis are light blue, therefore all winkles must be light blue. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I'm looking at a dual sequence here, I believe. Mm. What say you to this? Um, yeah, that would make sense. So next logically would be 11 and 4. 11 and 4? Yeah. I make a case for C. 
in the in the odds in the odds sequence we have progressive addition plus one Mm. plus two to five plus Plus three to eight oh yeah it would be 12 yeah you were looking at the same thing and uh yeah miscount yeah okay we got the important part hooray uh who we got here silver recluse hello Sue can type 50 characters in 10 seconds. Roberta types only 40 in the same amount of time. If they work together, how many seconds does it take them to type 360 characters? Uh, that would be 40 seconds. Uh huh. Pretty sure. Yep. Combine the efforts. You get 90 for yeah. 10 seconds times 4 is 40. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, no. Insert the same four-letter word in both sets of blanks. All right. I think this one's easy. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting for Twitch to load. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> there we wait, go. Wait, Twitch? You're not watching on Discord? Uh, no, I'm watching on Discord. I just pull up Twitch so I have access to the chat. Oh, you can... You my can... computer's being slow. Oh, I see. Yeah. Silver Recluse, a uh, former and soon future streaming buddy of mine. Nice. He comes uh, back to the show next Thursday. Same four letter word. Right. Yeah, it beats me. Uh, I don't know. Word games are usually my domain. I try to maintain my abilities as well as possible. Hmm. I just there said it. Yeah. <laughs> domain, maintain. There you go. Which figure below can be obtained by rotating the one above? Okay. Well, if we're doing both inner and outer rotation, you get B. Yeah. Or if you are simply shifting, there is no option for B. yeah. There is no option for straight panel shifting. You have to rotate the panels too. Thank goodness. The number of shirts Bob owns is the same as the number Fred owns divided by the number owned by John. Fred has 42 shirts and would have eight times as many as John if Fred owned 14 more. How many shirts does Bob own? So Fred times John equals Bob. Mm -hmm. Fred has 42 and would have eight times as many as John if Fred owned 14 more. That's seven. So Bob owns six. That's right. Seventy-two? <sighs> I believe that is correct. We're seeing a two-step alternating pattern between yeah. double and triple. Yeah. Above are three Ooh. views of the same cube. Which pattern below is on the back of the third view? Ah, okay. Uh, A. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, I'm, de- I'm fairly decent with geometry. Mm. Well, here's some geometry for you. Oh, no. Picture. No, not right after I said it. No, <laughs> please, no. Picture a wooden cube which measures three inches on each side. If it were dipped in black paint and then cut into one-inch cubelets, how many cubelets cubelets would have paint on exactly two sides? Hmm. One-inch cubelets, so that's... So first of all, what's three cubed? 
27. Right, which gets you that many. So right away, we've got four from there. Four from there is eight. Four from there is 12. You're saying 12? I'm thinking 12. I'm in agreement. Yeah, so if you take from four from the top side, and then four which from then the... Which then equals from, yeah, right. which automatically, if you take four from the top, you're taking four from the bottom. Right. Then just alternate from the middle sides to uh, the corners. Right. The yep, so you do that three times, and that's where you get. Which design um, below best completes the sequence shown above? Yeah, uh, Andrew? Yes. Yeah, you don't take the same cube from the same quadrant of all three things. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the four from the top, yeah, and then the four from the bottom, uh -huh. and then there's four around the middle that the top and bottom don't hit. Right. Okay. Cool. Oh boy. So, what have we got here? More of this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking D. I agree. I'll let you have an explanation. How'd we get there? Uh, well, uh, one and three are pointing to different sides, and have a uh, and have sort of a uh, vertical pattern to them. Mm -hmm. Where it's like. The line is up on its narrow end, and the triangle is pointing uh, the, the opposite way of the arrow. And then the other, the up-down arrow, it's pointing in the same direction. Yeah, the, the little and vertical rectangle there. never actually rotates. Yeah. The two triangles are rotating in opposite directions, but the same degrees each time. Hence how you're going from the two opposite directions to now the same direction when the little one turns 90 counter and uh -huh. the um, and the big one turns 90 clock. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So so that persists. Two steps later, the arrows are pointing in the same as each other, but the opposite of before. And the rectangle, again, never moves. A certain rule is followed in the numerical squares below. Figure it out and fill in the question mark. Not nearly as intimidating as it might look. Yeah. So there would be a four, wouldn't it? I believe so. Yep. Just a little square of multiplication and division. Yeah. It's just a multiplication table in reverse. A common thing in big cities. Rearrange the letter to spell a word identified by the above clue. A common uh, thing. Packers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> I think we can build this together if we really try. Should I start throwing letters? Uh, no. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, here we go. Sky... Skyscraper. That's yeah. it. Big tall building. The best definition of circumlocution is... <laughs> uh, roundabout, I think. I mean, circum. Yeah. Makes it the only... I think reasonable choice. 
tri monthly means every three months. That's correct. Okay, so we get another shot at the four that we missed. Okay, good. All right, so we're back to the dog question, and the answer was not one. So what, three? Four? <sighs> well, what, it, what is a cop? No, no, I think it's, I think it's two. Uh, by what logic? Dog is one. Bulldog is a breed of dog. It has a value of two. Collie is a breed of dog. That's not it either. All right, back to the clothing. No price tags. It is not six. Um, eight. Any? Just curious. Any basis? Slightly more necessary than a tie and a hat, but not <laughs> as necessary as a shirt. Uh, apparently, that's enough. <laughs> All right. We'll go A. Yeah. Yep. I guess the triangle. Uh, Gave us enough of a clue. Yeah. And this is not A. You said... What did you say I before? I said you could make an argument for C or D. All right, let's think about that then. You made an argument for B, and then... And then... We came up with a formula that gave us A, so... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Honestly, it could be any. Depending on the on the pattern you want to make, it could be any of them. Pick C or D. D. Yeah. I, I'm not even sure why, but all right. Let's knowing that that's the right answer. Let's take a look. So. So if we go counter forty five. My thought is that the spinning has to. Repeats to get back to where we started. Hmm. So the sideways there would be the halfway point and then just get, do the same thing in reverse. That's sensible enough to me. That's fantastic. Now, are you going to tell us what about the dogs? Yes, I would. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, you got that pretty quick. Uh-huh. Off of the first one. Oh, he oh. Found a value of one. Oh. So that would be three. We got thrown by the topic. That's a bit obtuse. Yeah. Ouch. Yep. Oh, they had yet a third pattern. Two times the previous number plus one. That's pretty impressive, actually, that you, I, and the game came up with three different ways to get here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Wait. No, what was your... What was yours? Uh, plus the next number in uh, the sequence. So it was 2 plus 3, 5. Uh, okay. Plus the five number. 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 12, 23. 23 plus okay, yeah. 24, 47. 47 yeah. plus 48, 95. No, oh, no. Okay. Yeah. There, there we came up with because three. Because every single number here yep. is the one in the previous to it times two plus one. So yours is derivative of theirs. Yeah. I just came up with a much simpler way of saying it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I started to think about as I looked at this and I'm like, uh, I mean, not that it matters still all legitimate that's... answers. Uh, huh. Following up from the vowels bit. Look at this. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm, yeah, but this one, the three-minute disparity. Mm -hmm. I did my math wrong. 
This one is really tough. And we lucked into it. Work backwards and eventually see the I actually did start working backwards. Yeah. (laughs) It was just as confusing. Yeah. So when you get there, it's five. The final result is five thirds. And that's what the numbers show. Twenty seven and a half is five thirds of sixteen and a half. Yeah. Very trippy. Oof. Yep. We got this one. Flipping, flipping, Ooh and boy. flipping. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done logic puzzles like that. Did you ever have like those uh, flashcards that were nothing but logic puzzles and brain teasers and all Oh that? yeah, that was that was third grade summer training from my dad. Uh-huh. Woo. Yikes. Yeah, a lot of a lot of my childhood like where when I wasn't playing games was literally logic development. Mhm. Mhm. Woof. Yep. You landed there. They came up with one that puts all of these into a single pattern. Ours was good, though, splitting it up. Mm -hmm. We got that perfectly. Yep. Uh Uh-huh. We got that perfect. Yep. This is the very drawn-out version of how we did it. Right. Yep. Yep, we got that one. You got yep, this got mas- yeah. You got this one masterfully. Yep, the middle cubelet on each edge. Uh-huh. Get you 12 of them. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Circum for around and low key for speak. Mhm. And then the elaborated definitions. Yep. Cool. All right. We did better on that than I thought we might. I feared we might. So. Do we feel sufficiently warmed up? Uh, for what? I don't know. Whatever square one is, I guess. Oof, okay. Oh, it's a maze. A game, a puzzle, and a maze. Play up to 9,999 games. Ooh. Of which we're only going to expo this at best. Mm-hmm. Square one is fun. So, did we read the directions? Uh, nope. I have a guess as to what's going on here, though. Mm. And I have a solution in mind. That way beats eight, if I'm correct. Actually, no, I don't. I miscounted. I think the number we're sitting on represents how many spaces we move in whichever direction we click. F1. F1? All right. To complete each puzzle in a few moves... If you can consistently tie the... Thank you. Ah, here we go. Use the cursor keys to move the highlighted... The number of squares the highlighted slot is doing. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Cool. Mm Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think we've got enough there. So... I'm seeing a solution just to demonstrate how it looks and then we'll do another one. One to the right, four down, two right, one right. No, I screwed up. Very badly. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. How about this instead? Okay, so uh, start this one over. Um, okay. I have a solution. 
Oh, I couldn't reset in pure. Can we can we go back to puzzle number one? <laughs> um, I do not know. I see reset, but clicking that put us here to this new puzzle. I don't know if there's a way to go back. Okay. But I will sit this one out. Okay, go down one. So hit down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still see a tie. Over five, yeah. Still a tie. Over one. Down one. All right. Let's see if we can get a victory. Okay, so we're starting with four. Ten moves, huh? No, oh, we're going to have to go right to start because uh, down and then right makes a roundabout back. Yeah. Thank you. Hold on. I think I see it. Okay. Two, three. It clears in nine. Okay. Awesome. I'm still letting I'm still letting you have it. Oh, I I wasn't looking. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Gangs all there. Hmm. All right. How much longer do you go? Uh Hour and a half. Okay. Love you. Love you too. So hang on. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's um. Okay, left. Go back to the left. Yeah. Down. Right. Up. Down. Down. You found a better one than I had. Nice. <laughs> well, uh, you better take this one. I think we're I think we're pretty well streamlined to smash this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was I was going to demonstrate what happens if you don't beat it, but that I, I mean, come on. I was just going to give it to you. Yeah, I know. I, I can't refuse that. I'm just going to willy this one out. Wow. That's a little harsh. But that's square one. All right, cool. And now the standard event. Would you like to go first or second this time for Word Up? Um, I'll go second. All right. 
here we go. Number three is for me. Oh, there are three quizzes. Oh. So, I guess this is going to be a two wow. out of three challenge. Either that, or just one of them will have to... Uh... I don't know how we'll be able to determine. Like, Because basically only one of us will get a shot at the third one, so... I would I would I would I, say I'm that gonna... we do one each and then we do one combined. Okay. Here's number one. Paroxysm imitation. Ineffable. Not easily understood. Well, this is bad. Suppliant. Flexible. Jeez. Paramount. Or. Hmm. Now let's proceed this way. Paramount. Sup hmm. No. Yeah, Supreme. Quarrelsome. Okay. S. No. Laconic. Listless. Hyperborean. Exaggerated. Dilatory. Hardworking. I think you're going to beat me pretty easily on this. Uh, we'll see. You, ha you still have half the quiz to go. Capricious. Unpredictable. Oh. R. Barbate. Bearded. Digging Barber. Mm -hmm. T. Extant. Outside. Masticate. Which reminds me of a very famous password blooper. <laughs> B. N. There you go. I will not guess. Bandy. To Bandy Exchange. L. Uh oh. Apocryphal. Giving revelation. Sibilant. Excited. Solicitous. Eager. Oof. Um. E. Feign, pretend. I'm running out of time here. Oh. No guess. Conundrum, puzzling problem. You. Because I know it's in it. Yep. If I can get a G, it might help me. Debonair. Hey. Decadent. I mean, I know how the word is used, but. Allay, put to rest. G. I will guess. Pugnacious. Oof. Ow. Loquacious. Talkative. From what we just go. saw as speak. You still got, yeah, you got half of them. And I never get the bonus words in these things. 
I misspelled it. It is pugnacious. Which doesn't really help me because... Because now they get cut in half from the original. Uh. I'll try it. Sad. Ineffable. B. Debonair. Prudent. Beseeching. Supposed. Inclined to delay. Sudden outburst. Vast. C. B. So I finished with 1300 on quiz one. Are you ready? Yep, ready as I'll ever be. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> uh, anything done to show honor, that would be C. Oh, that's not... Well, we're off to a great start here, but remember, you still got half of them right, so... Ay ay ay. Slightly unbalanced mentally. Alright, let's go S. No S. Suffuse. A. No. Flamboyant. B. Yep. R. No, sir. Gyrate. Or gyrate, if you like. Okay, so you see... This is a problem because this word has actually transformed since this time slightly. Uh... It's used for both A and C, so I gotta go by Webster here. Um, in which case I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna go with my... with what it sounds like it is, A. Yep. Um, no S, no T. R. There's a T. Care to try it? No. Okay. Gusto. Come on! <laughs> oh, boy. Um, This might be another one. Now, see, this might be another one where the Webster definition is different from what I'm aware of uh -huh. it being used for. Uh, because I'm aware of it being used for C. Are you going to say C? B. More than B. Yeah, so C. Okay. Um, E. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to try it? No. Um... Are you serious? C. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me a D. Ugh, no. Incongruous. Uh, B, I think. In this one, at least I can get off of a guess. But I... We were both wrong, then. Yeah. Inclu... What the... B. What? Why? Uh. This, this is sick. A. Well, you're going backwards. Are you kidding me? Uh... No, not yet. Homologous, I believe. Uh, 
Uh, human-like. Why not? In cons... Uh, what? Okay, that'd be C. I'm getting a bunch of easy ones. I feel cheated. What's your letter? P. Ooh. There is a P. Well, I'm still lost, so, uh... I don't have it either. Yeah. In consonant. <laughs> uh, uh, B? I'm amused by one definition. Me too. A is the trap answer. <laughs> yep. Uh, L. I'm I'll getting so many of these right, you'd think that I'm just trying to confirm what it is, but I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I'll tell you this, I see pixelated, but obviously it can't be because yeah. E. But yeah. you, uh, you don't have this? No. Risible. Ah! Now see it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go with funny. And what about you? Do you find, find it's... Risible. <laughs> and I say the name Biggest Dickus <laughs> Hail Fita. Oh boy. <laughs> well, you want slightly unbalanced, pick anything from that troop. Uh, oh. No, <laughs> not there. Flaccid. That would be C. Wearing it's severe. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah. That, mm. um, no comment. Not from me. You. No, it's not okay. you. Truculent or trucellent or something of that. Truculent. That truculent. would be juicy. It oh, would really? not. Oh, huh, weird. Incontrovertibly. Okay, that this is a good question because there's a bunch of double negatives. Um, I do have a guess. Undeniably, that is not my guess, but it is correct. Well done. Uh, I. It's got to be right. You, ah. you you want to you want to stab at the final letter? Pitilated, 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 no, pitilated, 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 pitilated. I'm going through them all. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> um. Holy cow! Try the X. You want to try the X? Yeah. If it's the X, I swear I'm... Oh my lord! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> oh, it's like Chuck Woolery and his burritos answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's, that's what I was trying to channel there. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh man. Well, <laughs> that's. Uh... I have. I have. In. Inadvertently led to my own demise in this match. So yeah. one one to tie and two to win within the next five. Incontrovertibly, this is my round. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ecle uh, yeah. If this keeps eclectic. A. Well, uh, that's a tie. You only need one correct answer in any form to win. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know this one. Um, a. That's it. That's a win. Is, okay. Incipient. Oh, I don't know. Um, C? No. Nah, okay. Ameliorate. Amelior. Ameliorate. Um, B? Nah. This is, yeah. 
It's a word I've heard before. Batik. I don't know this one. Uh, hey. Okay, cool. You want to spike? You want to spin back or just? Yeah, sure. All right. Ugh. It was not Truculent. juicy. Uh, C. Suffuse was not A. Mm-hmm. Uh, C. Okay, not C. Batik, you said what? The boat or the wax? No, I said the fabric. Oh, the fabric. It's not B then. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Uh, a. Yep. Incipient. Um, C. Ameliorate. C. Homologous. C. Yeah, I'm thinking homo as in same. Yeah. Incongruous. B. I was thinking congruent as in match for matchless. But you are correct. Yeah, well that's done. what I was thinking as well. But you're correct. Inappropriate. Oof. You have beaten me by 500 points. Congratulations. Hooray! All right. So let's try this together. Redress. That'd be compensation. Wouldn't that's it? what I'm thinking, yeah. Fear. I think I know it already. Go for it. I'm going to say T, and it is exactly what I think it is. Trepidation. Now, All let's, right. let's see if we can take this home to the most perfect 39... 39? Yes, 3,900. Sallow. Well, we're off to a bad start. Yes, we are. Um, I believe it's C... All right. Militant. Um. <laughs> uh, C. Uh huh. Stanchion. This one I don't know. Um, B. Those yeah. are the. They're like the. You like have a. Say a game release at Target or something. Those pillars with the uh, straps to keep lines. Oh. Yeah. Tenuous. Flimsy. Yep. Quarry. A place where stone is excavated. Tenacious. Persistent. Spectre. A ghost. Nebulous. Indefinite, I think. Yes. Slothful. Lazy. We're halfway through, by the way. Oh, boy. Muse. To think deeply. Shoal. I think it's an island. Ah, oh. darn! It's, I don't think it's a school of fish. Breathe to cover. Stayed. This one I don't know. I'm gonna say tasteless. I'm think. I was thinking. Okay. What were you thinking? Thinking settled. All right, we'll spin back then. Quaff. To drink in large quantities. That's a rogue word. Oppressive. Tyrannical. Mattock. Or Mattock. for loosening soil. Parlay. I think it's to meet with others. It might be to debate. 
What do you think? I said C to meet with others. My thought was actually exploit successfully. I was thinking about parlay in like the combo sense. To parlay one move into another. Mm. And we'll find out later. Partisan. A. Mm-hmm. Rapport. B. We are firmly better together. Mm -hmm. We only missed three between us. Now you said settled for stayed, yeah? Yeah. That's right. And parlay, I believe, is exploit. Very good. Yeah, exactly. And then... And shoal... My gut was baby pig. Okay, go for it. It's a fish. A school of fish. Still, that is a huge score. We did well. I think, hold on. Huh. Yeah, we did better together than uh, both our scores apart combined. Yeah, 3,100 separately, 3,400 together. Still a very nice exercise. Yeah. Oh, is this one where the slow intros begin? Uh-oh. That's fine. Uh, it looks like they have consistently stuck with three quizzes a month. Okay. So we can do this one of two ways. We can continue one me, one you, one together. Or we can do a combined three total across different months. Hmm. It might be more... It might be less of a continuous burden if we do it the way we just did the last one. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Pick a quiz of your choice. I'll take quiz one this time. You took it last time. Okay. Asterage. B. Mm-hmm. External features. S. There's one. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. Venerate. A. Very good. R. No. Okay. Voucher. Huh. I ex e. Yeah, I was going to say, I expect you're thinking the same conflict I am. Yeah. So it's A. Yeah. <laughs> Opaque. Uh, B. That brings me back to my science days. Transparent, translucent, opaque. T. All right, keep going. Piety. B. L. Okay. Incessant. A. N. Eh, nothing yet. Suffice. B. E. Okay. Fracas. A. <laughs> French monetary unit. That's funny. A. Oh. Perturb. B. Hmm. Mediocre. A. Uh, oh.
Any idea? No. Winsome. Uh, a? Uh, M. Eh. No, not yet. Disgorge. B. Uh, P. Uh, I should know this. Oh dear. Something, no me. What do you think? Uh, let's try this. Okay. All right, so H, Y, I, G, Y. Well done, physiognomy. All right, double from here on out, equanimity. Uh, uh, I don't know, see? Emaciate. Uh, C. Daunt. C. Arduous. A. Bolster. A. Austere. Ooh. Um. B. Deride. C. Oh. Impediment. Oh, we're not done. Uh, yes. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Mm. A. And you missed. Yes. Yeah, sure. Only three. Voucher. Okay. Uh, B. Equanimity. Uh, A. Perturb. Um, C. 2550. Good luck. Yes. I'm going to spin it on its ear and take number three. Okay. Neurotic. Mentally disordered. Off to a good start. Poor. S. No. Gratuitous. I feel like it's trap, but B. No, that's correct. Oh, good. Hey, this is going well. R. I have to get the mystery word fairly quickly to have any kind of chance. I got it by, like, question 14. You're fine. Reiterate. Repeat. Plus, you've gotten everything each question so far. T. Proclivity. Inclination. N. No. See, you're fine. Fastidious. Hey. A. Mm. Dishevel. Rumple. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. I was hoping for more help. Pass. Effusive. Gushing. You. Nice. Pass. Sagacious. Shrewd. G. Luxuriant. Ooh. Wealthy. Oof. Ooh. Probably lush. Yeah. Flippery. No, frippery. Frippery. <laughs> A. L. Nurly. Gnarled. Very reasonable. I. There you go. Ooh. Uh. I'm still not sure. No. Paragon. B. D. Writhe. Twist. M. No. Jerk water. Jerk water. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to say B. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I am the jerk water. Who knows? <laughs> Interject. Insert. <sighs> what is this? That is a good question. C. I'm going to say Impacutus. Ah. Cursory. A. Innuendo. Something I know absolutely zilch about. A. Mm, yeah. Absolutely nothing. A. Oh. So there is no A anywhere. And you've already used I, O, and U. Insidious, treacherous. E. Is it impecunious? Awesome. Hypothesis, unproved theory. <laughs> Incandescent, very bright. I can only cap at 2,000. Do you win? <laughs> yeah. Rude. No hits hasty. Oh. Luxuriant, lush. Jerk water, stupid. Oh. Unimportant. Vestidious. I think I said stylish. I'm going to say refined. Very good. Mm. Well, congratulations. Shall oh. we do this together? Yeah. Cool. Impetuous. Impulsive, I think. Noisy. Cacophonous. I think it's too long. <laughs> or the blanks are, anyway. Okay. What do we want to put in here? Any any of the main six, I think. Yeah, sure. S. Yes. That's good. I don't have it, though. Me either. 
Speculative. Thoughtful. Yeah, speculation. R. I don't. Interesting. Me either. Palpable. Perceptible. E. Three guesses, three doubles. Very nice. No guess. Yeah. Voracious. B? I think let's start going with some safe stuff. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I feel like that's a B in that second slot. The last blank is a U. Try... Uh, B, T, P, U. Where'd you come up with that? Obstreperous. It's a word that I've heard before. Nice. That's it. I can't. Very good. Saturate. C. Derive. A. Oh no, it's oh derive, not deride. Mm. So let's see. Reciprocate. Ooh. I think it's return. Perspicacious. Might be discerning. Omnivorous. Oh, <laughs> well. Different set of but, definitions this time. All wise would be omniscient, yes? Yeah. Probably greedy then. Mm. Hallowed. Oh, sacred. Thy kingdom come, thy... <clears throat> excuse yep. me. Tacitly. Implied but not stated. By yeah, me. quiet in nature. Tenuous. Flimsy. We've been here before. Malevolent. Malicious. Loathe. Hate. Ornate. Shelby. Explicate. Uh -huh. Or explicate. A tone, maybe? Nope. Notorious. Famous. Squalor. Filth and wretchedness. Is that one of your D&D uh, &D words? No, actually, that's a total war word. Ah. Uh, mirth. Glee. E. Morose. Sullen. That's my one of my D&D &D words. <laughs> we only missed two together. Originate. And explicate. I don't know. Um, believe we said a, we said a tone. I want to say explained. This was not... I don't believe this was a better combined performance, but to be fair, I think we nah. exceeded 4,000 individually, so... Ooh. Excellent. We did very well with that one. Yes, we did. Oof. And 
There's one called Road Signs here. Ooh, excellent. Get us a little variety here. Let's take a look at what we got here. Let's have a guess test. I want to see sure. what we know here and now. Uh-oh. Let's start easy with the United States. Yeah. Ah, uh, no left turn. Oh, that's an easy one. Ah, uh, gee, I wonder. Restaurant for cars. Yeah, what on earth does this <laughs> sign mean? Uh, yeah, stop sign. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that's uh, two-way traffic. Yeah. Tunnel. Uh, that would be Animals Crossing. New Horizon or... Yeah, oh my gosh. Filling station. Uh, I really feel like they shouldn't be putting the words in these. Yeah, when I took my driver's test, they did remove the words. As they should. This kind of eliminates the whole test. Uh, low clearance. Trolls home. <laughs> uh ooh. I believe it's parking. I believe it's parking. Road narrows. Yeah. Oh. That is <laughs> <programmer>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. I could make uh, a I could make a case for Animals Crossing. Nah, nah, it's not. It's... <laughs> now hmm. I think it's pedestrian is... crossing. They're standing standing in a crosswalk. Yeah, I think it is. There's an argument to be made for one or three, but I do think it's pedestrian crossing. Ooh, and we I, get a, another try, guess. Try watch, try watch out for children. It is Roadworks. Road works. A flag man, I guess. Yeah. Treasure map here. <laughs> Intersection. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no entry. At least they bothered to change the answer. <laughs> Forced left turn. Merge. Slippery road. No U-turn. Speed lip. Wow. Oh, is it really? Are we sure it's not? Are we sure it's not end of restriction and we're not playing uh, no board here? Yeah. It's speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for children. <laughs> Ooh, train a whoop about railroad crossing. Okay. okay. Yeah, this, this one is, is pedestrian crossing. Sleep here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think curve. not. Yeah, curve. Oh! <laughs> Don't use this mechanic. <laughs> oh, I like the sass and the, that there's one answer. Yeah, me too. Oh, signal ahead. Uh huh. Oh, I think I think that's a hotel. I believe it is hospital. Oh. It is hospital. Okay. And both mistakes came on the same sign. Yeah. The one that it could be one of three answers, and we just weren't sure. Yeah. We can certainly attempt to level up and see how oh, we do. Oh, no. Uh, tunnel. That was easy. Hospital. Hospital. Ooh. I want to say Roadworks. I think it might be roadworks. No. Pedestrian don't, crossing? Don't tell me it's treasure map. 
Intersection. Intersection. Oh, uh, opening bridge. Yep. Uh, I think this might I be want a to speed say limit. Speed limit or min speed limit? Ooh, it might be a minimum speed limit. I'll try min. Nope. It is an international speed limit sign. Uh, filling station. Yeah. Or restaurant for cars, either one. Slippery road. <laughs> Ooh. Road closed to all? Yeah, I imagine there'd be a car or something on that sign if it was specific about it. Yep. Road works. That's Another road works. <laughs> Danger? I want to very narrow road. I want to say very narrow road. Okay. Danger? Danger. You were right. Well done. Animals crossing. No U-turn. This may be an international yield. Yeah, it might be a yield. Going to say a forced left Forced turn. left. Road narrows. Parking. Parking. Do not, Do not enter. enter. End of restriction. End of restriction. Oh. This might be no entry. Yep. Watch out for children. What? Yep. No left. Yep. Pedestrian crossing. Yeah, there's your yep. motor vehicles. Yep. That's a curve. curve. Telephone. Telephone. Uh, good. You're okay. That went well. Yeah, it did. We did better on the international signs than I thought we would. Indeed. So the next five on the list are all word up. Oh, boy. I'm thinking hang on to those for now and and next week do an all word up just to okay. really drill it down. So that'll take us to 81, which yeah, let's hit go. Quizzer Archaeology. Oh, dear. This could be very interesting. In what city is the Ark of the Covenant thought to be located? Uh, I don't know. We uh, should know... We should I'm know this. This yeah. is going to be embarrassing. Yeah. It was the obvious. Why would it be in Jerusalem right now? Great question. And if it was, why wouldn't we know about it? Mm. The Rosetta Stone unlocked the secrets of Egyptian hieroglyphics. I believe so, yeah. That is Egypt level 2 on Explorer Ancient Empires. Ah. Uh. Great Sphinx is a likeness of King Shepherd. Sphinx is a lion, yeah? Yeah. Manufacture of what? Gunpowder, I believe. Porcelain. Ah. Ancient runways for spaceships are found where? All of these places. Yeah, really. Probably the plains of Nazca. Nazca? Yep. Conspicuous by its absence in the Incan culture. The wheel? They did not use the wheel. Temple towers in Mesopotamia. Ziggurats. Near East, expert level 2. Hmm. In Mexico, who came up with the oh, time okay. system? Hmm. The 
Mayans? Nah, the Olmecs. Olmec, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Blank International Monetary Unit. I want to say Shekel. I don't think so. What are you thinking? I think it's the Drachma. Oh, the Doubloon. The it Derek. The, the Derek, actually. Oh, okay. Puppetry and Blank Theater was at its height in Japan. Kabuki, kabuki. right? Well, that's not how you spell it. It's, no, no. it's Kabuki, it's not, not English, Kobuki. It's not, a, it's not an English word. They can spell it however they want. Shah Jahan. Taj Mahal, yeah? Sure. I mean, that's the only one of those that was a tomb, so yeah. Mm. Shang Dynasty. Cuneiform or pictograms? I think it might be pictograms. Yep. Because cuneiform is like a cod. And... Mm. Who discovered Tut's tomb? I don't know. I'm going to say Wooly. Carter. Okay. Around 600 AD, who devised the calendar of the solar year more accurate than that of the Europeans? The Maya? Discovery of the elements, antimony, arsenic. Uh, alchemists? Yeah. Thousands of years ago, Asiatics first crossed the blank straits into the Americas. Magellan? Sure. The Bering Straits. Ah. Garden of Eden is thought to have been between the Tigris and... Euphrates. Yeah. What famous stone monument was built on Salisbury Plain? Gotta be Stonehenge, right? I think so. Either that or, yeah. The offspring of 12 generations of brother-sister marriages. Oh, boy. Um, Who's the inbred in this bunch? Let's go Tutankhamun. Cleopatra. Ah. Linear A untranslated and Linear B were scripts developed by... I don't know. I will say the Vikings. Okay. The Minoans. Ah. The Hanging Gardens of Blank. Babylon? Yep. What weapon was the foundation of English success in the Hundred Years' War? The Longbow. Forerunner to paper, papyrus, was developed by... Egyptians. Egypt. Archimedes screw is a simple machine used to lift. Water? That says spirits, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> the Archimedes screw. Nope, not gonna. <sighs> the blank were the first people in the world to use iron on a large scale. Uh... I don't know this one. I will say the Hittites. Space Age began in 1957 AD with the launching of... Sputnik! My, we've been there before, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with, a, with a president who would rather send somebody up in a, in a ratty piece of trash. Yep. That's known to blow up. Use in battle 500 years after its first use in China. Gunpowder. Yeah. Blank Island is the home for big rockheads. Easter. Easter's. Raikou's Island. <laughs> wow. That's. Mm. Eruption of Mount Vesuvius destroyed Pompeii. Mm -hmm. Largest man made object in the world. Great Wall of China. Yeah. Most important invention of the Middle Ages. Windmill? Printing press. Yeah. 
Discovery of blank in 1867 AD led to the Boer War. I don't know. I'm going to say gold. Diamonds. Phoenicians in blank were thought to have been the first to sail to the Americans. Minoans. Yep. This ancient hunting weapon may have allowed prehistoric Indians of North America to hunt bison and mammoth. The Atlatl? Yeah. The lotus and blank are Buddhist symbols originating in India. I think it's the reverse swastika. It is. What class of weapons rendered castles obsolete as defensive positions? D? I was tempted for a second. From 1347 to 50 AD, killed three quarters of Europe's population. The Black Death. Yeah, it's a few centuries soon for the Third Reich. Uh-huh. Alphabetic writing was originated by... Um... I don't know, Greeks? Phoenicians. Uh. Phonics. Ah! Highest navigable lake in the world is... I don't know. I'll say Loch Ness. Okay. I didn't ah, want. <clears throat> that one. I didn't want to say it for reasons, but that that'll teach me. The Great Lakes are believed to be the result of. Let's go with extensive glaciation. Yep. Oldest civilization in Africa. Uh, I think it's either Egypt or Nubia. What do you think? Uh, let's hit Egypt and see if... I'm just going to pick one. Yeah, it is okay. Egypt. Phoenicians derive their name from the Greek word phoenix, meaning... Resurrection? Purple. Ah, yeah, bummer. These are all rather funny. Yeah. Collapsed Minoan civilization on the Isle of Crete is probably the basis for what fabled civilization? Atlantis. Mm-hmm. Famous Egyptian Did pharaoh. not have said Troy. Okay. Who died at 19 among Egyptian pharaohs? Um, let's go... Was that Tutankhamen? I think that was Tutankhamen. Yeah, I believe it was Tut. Which, again, spelled incorrectly. Should be an E instead of an O. But anyway. In 11, 1911 AD, the lost city of the Incas... Down in the Peruvian Andes. Machu Picchu? I hit N accidentally. You hit what? N. N. Right next to the B. Cuneiform writing originated where? Uh, Mesopotamia. Mm hmm. What did the Anazi live in? I don't know. I will say igloos, cliff dwellings. The servants of blank kings and queens were put to death when rulers died and buried in the same tombs. I'm going to leave this one alone. I'll say Samaria. In 1271 AD, who set out from Venice to China? Marco Polo. Very good. And finally, the golden age of Celtic Ireland was ended around 900 AD by raids from whom? Presumably the Vikings. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Bring back that old uh, squad name of ours. What was that? Vimes. Ah, nice. The same name we're going to use, of course, when we reach our new precinct. Awesome. <laughs> Whew. All right. That was fun. It was. Uh, clock says about 30 minutes. Yep, that's what let's I got. Hit, let's hit 82. Because there's something here. A 
aside from another word up, we've got something called wise guy. Mind bending intelligence test. 20 questions. Oh, we dare. And we dare to do this together. All right, here we go. This game has a warranty. I'm sure far outreach now. <clears throat> yeah. If a detergent bottle contains 12 ounces, then a bottle containing one third more has 16 ounces. Consider a bird flying north at 30 miles per hour. If there is a wind from the east at 15 miles per hour, how long will it take the bird to reach to fly 60 miles north? Is it an African or a European swallow? I don't know that. <laughs> I should warm up before doing that. <clears throat> Two hours. Wind is Stuff meaningless. About the wind from the east is meaningless. <clears throat> All nuns wear habits. Reba, a nun, always wears black. Door is blue. Most accurate statement? Uh, um. <laughs> Doris always wears blue. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were thinking C, weren't you? Yeah. Mm. Which is the greatest number? Gonna go stars in the universe. A times B plus C equals X. What is C? <clears throat> hmm. X minus A times B. Yep. Birds are winged animals with feathers. All flying animals have wings. Bats fly. What's the most accurate? Bats have wings? Yeah. Tom is married to Jane. Tom has three children, one named Anne. Jane has two daughters. Mary has a son by Tom. Anne's mother has only one child. So... Uh, okay, so... He's married... To Jane. Tom has three children. One of them is Anne. Um, Anne's mother has only one child. Anne's mother being who? Jane, presumably. No. What? Mary? So, hang on. Tom has three children. One named Anne. And a son, and also one of he has a daughter named Dan and a son. Anne's mother has only one child, which means it can't be Jane because she has two daughters. Well, unless Anne is a boy. Well, if Anne's a boy, then Jane still can't be Anne's mother. Jane has oh, two yeah, daughters. That's true. It has two daughters. So, um, I feel like there's going to be something preluding a fallacy here. Probably Tom and Jane have two children. No. Mm -hmm. A ten ounce ball of clay moving south at ten miles an hour adheres to a five ounce ball of iron moving at east to twenty miles per hour. What happens to the balls?
Um, well, I feel like the collision of a south of a south moving object and an east moving object. Yeah, would go southeast at some speed. We'll go with C. It's it's either C or D. I'll say C. Yep. Next number in this sequence. I see it. I see it too. 32. Wait. No, 30. Mm -mm. Wait, what? It's not 30 anything. Yeah, I we don't have... see it. Oh, yeah, it would it'd be 42. <laughs> yeah, plus 4, plus 6, plus 8. 8, plus 10, plus 12. Yep. Oh. Ah, uh, I am not seeing this outright. Okay, so zero four equals zero plus four fourteen four plus four plus six. Wait, no, eighteen. Forty eight, one hundred. All right, it can't be the pattern I'm thinking. Then it starts to exceed. I'm not seeing it, are you? No. I'm going to say 294 just to pass this. Cool. Oh. Wow, okay. I'm sure they'll show us later. If fish is to water as cloud is to sky, then... I think C. I think C. If the circumference of a circle is pi times diameter, then the circumference of a semicircle is... Ugh. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I would have just said... I would have just said... Circumference of circle divided by two. just said pi times the radius. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
I'm going to say C again. Five times radius. Uh, well, because I mean, yeah, that's correct. Courage is to hero as. The insight is to inventor. Tree is to forest as. I'm thinking C. I'm thinking fish is to school, yeah. Fast is to accelerate as. I think it's D. To generate speed is to go fast. Or rather, acceleration is the generation of fast. Heat is the sure. generation of hot. Ah! Where have we seen this before? Uh -huh. Except minutes instead of seconds. Everybody's getting old, I guess. Yeah. They did some serious recycling over the years. Okay, so uh, 72. Yeah, I've been there before. Which words are most alike in meaning? Tale and story, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been there, been there before, too. A times B is 24. B times C is 24. B times D is 48, and C times D is 32. What is A times B times C times D? Two of these equations are very much useless. Mm. Just multiply the others and you're home free. Mm. Yeah, it's like I've, I get the feeling it's 768. That's correct. Simply take 24 by 32, A times D, yeah. B, yeah. It's A times B and C times D. Just multiply those two equations. This seems like quite a jump, the last two. Uh, yeah, what happened there? No idea, but we did well. I'm a little uh, unhappy about not seeing the last two. But, oh well. The last two what? The two answers we missed. Oh, yeah. We didn't get to see them. Are you interested in taking one called Civil War? Sure. All right. Uh, I don't really have much knowledge on... A lot of the Civil War history is based on the generals, and uh, that's where a lot of my Civil War history falls flat is which general did what where? I don't either. I'll be perfectly honest. Oh, wait. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why did you do that? I don't want 82. I want 86. Loading data. Oh, yeah. This gets slow. It'll come up in a moment. There it is. Ta-da! Oh, man. Starting to really get into... Quizzer Civil War. Alrighty. In what year did Robert E. Lee assume command of the Confederate forces? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to say B. Five sequential years. 62, not 61. What feature was Ambrose Burnside famous for? Um, I believe it was his mustache. His hair. Darn. 
Most one sided major. Mm. Most one sided major battle of the Civil War? Uh. Is it Fredericksburg? Yep. In what year did General Lee undertake his second invasion of the Union? Um. Oh, boy. Uh, 1863. Yep. Surrender papers were signed where? Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. Yep. What event is generally known as the turning point of the war? The Battle of Gettysburg. In what battle did Lee divide his smaller army into two units? Ooh, 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 oh, oh, no. Um, oh, no. Was, was that Chancellorsville? Um, yeah, it was. Okay. <clears throat> the last official Confederate flag lowered where? Huh. I don't think it was Richmond, but I can't think of where else it would be, so let's just say Richmond. Shreveport. Shreveport, okay. Famous book title Gone with the Wind refers to what Civil War event? I don't know, I've never uh, read. Say the Surrender. Sherman's March. Oh. How long did the Siege of Vicksburg last? Okay, I I don't know. I'm... If it's like any siege out of Defender of the Crown, I'm going to say six days. I'm going to say six months. In the middle, six weeks. Ah. Favorite lieutenant lost at the Battle of Chancellorsville? General Stonewall Jackson. I. How many total casualties? They... Oh, boy. I don't know this one. 6.2 million. 620,000. And it. uh yeah, apparently. And uh you were saying about uh about Stonewall? No, I was looking, I was like General Hooker wasn't even on the Confederacy. <laughs> yeah. Lincoln's final choice is Union Commander in Chief. That'd be Grant. I'll grant you that. Ah uh, oh. Jefferson Davis? <laughs> I just noticed as I moved on. Um, announced with which event was for. I'll oh, read it out. Uh, I don't know. Was it Gettysburg? What's the proclamation? Proclamation? No idea. It was Antietam. Okay. First major battle in the Civil War. The first major battle. Was that Bull Run? Yep. Not used in the Civil War. Aerial observation, I don't think was there yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Subs. That's odd, because they used the submersible in the Revolutionary War. Hmm. Interesting. Who was in command during the Battle of Shiloh for the Confederates? Oh, of Shiloh. Um, I think... <laughs> wow. I think, I'm, I think it was uh, Longstreet. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, okay. Whew. It was Beauregard. Yeah, it was Beauregard. P.T. Barnum. Okay. Where were the first shots fired in the Civil War? Uh, Charleston Harbor on Fort Sumter. Yeah. Who won the Battle of Gettysburg? Meade. Meade. How many battles did Lee lose to Grant? None. A strategy wherein one army attempts to outlast another by absorbing greater losses but replenishing faster. Attrition. Grant's first major victory in the Civil War. 
first major victory. Mm -hmm. That... Let's go with Antietam, but it might have been Kennesaw Mountain. It was Shiloh. It was Shiloh, really? Highest American casualties. Highest American casualties. Yeah, which of these wars? Let's go with Civil War. Let's stay on topic. Yeah, this seems... I don't know what to say to that. How many slaves were set free by the impersonation constipation? Um, well, here's a good chance to learn something. Let's say all of them. It was none of them. None. Yeah. According to Lincoln, what quality did virtually all the Union commanders lack? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know Lincoln loved to cycle through his commanders. I'll say moral uprightness. The will to fight. The will to fight. Fascinating. Yeah, not much of a Civil War buff. Hmm. All right, let's uh, see if we can finish, finish with a bit of hilarity. For that, we will jump to 87. And rather than go through that whole interface again, I'm just going to do this. Okay. Storyteller. Ans Oof. Answer questions, create story. That's basically what this is saying. Okay. Hmm. We have some choices here. Ten of them from what I can see. What do you like? Okay. Aesop. Aesop. Oh, okay. Here. The hero or heroine's name. Oh, it's Mad Libs. Okay. Uh, shall we take turns? Uh, you can have this one in its entirety. All right. Uh, Hercules. An animal. Fox. A place, preferably a wild place. A uh, swamp. Hero or heroine's possessive pronoun. His. Hero or heroine's personal pronoun. He. Hero or heroine's reflexive pronoun. Himself. An adjective. Strong. Noun. Bread. Verb ending in ing. Punching. Adjective. Medium. A type of container. Personal pronoun capitalized, that's going to be this, he. Mm -hmm. uh, Hercules' favorite drink. Gatorade. <laughs> Exclamation. I'll just do that. Adjective. F 
flying. Plural noun. Bushes. Exclamation. Yout. Is that the spelling? Yeah, it's however you want to spell it. All right. Present tense singular number action verb. That's so rather elaborate. Let's go with the one they suggest. Throw. And the ing verb form of that verb. They were so specific about that last one. It's like, okay. Yeah. After you. <sighs> oh dear. There once was a fox named Hercules who lived in the swamp and had spent his life in the swamp. You could say he was a swamp fox, but he really thought of himself as a strong bread. <coughs> well, one day Hercules was punching through the swamp under the hot sun and he began to get very thirsty, so he began to look for something to drink. Suddenly, he noticed a medium cup in the middle of the trail. He also could smell Gatorade, which, of course, was his favorite drink. <laughs> when he tried to pick up the cup, he was unable to hold it, since a fox doesn't have opposable thumbs. Drat, thought Hercules. I keep forgetting that I don't have opposable thumbs. <laughs> so Hercules decided to figure out another way to get a drink of Gatorade to quench his flying thirst. <laughs> Hercules sat down on the trail to ponder the situation. He thought and thought and thought about it. Finally, he noticed a bunch of bushes laying around. Yuck, said Hercules. I can throw some of these bushes into the cup until the Gatorade gets high enough in the cup so I can sip some from the top. And so he did. After throwing the bushes into the cup, Hercules took a long drink of Gatorade and sighed. The moral of the story is, you can't get Gatorade from a cup until you throw in all your bushes. What? <laughs> the end. I, I see. Uh, I will take Caesar. Okay. Plural noun. Mm. Waves. I think you see where I'm planning on going with this. Yeah. Another plural noun. Lion. Enter your name. Alpha. Adjective. Lispy. Noun. Mm. Column. Noun. Chisel. Plural of the previous word. Oh boy. Chisels. Two can play at this game. Enter a holiday. Mm. Let's say National Pizza Day. Noun. Hmm. Sword. Plural noun. Centurions. Very nice. Enter uh, another plural noun. Oh boy. Sacrifices. Enter the name of something you own. Um. 
scissors. Enter the name of your boss. Don't want to be doxing anybody here. Um, I don't know. For for all for sake of coverage, I'm just going to say sir. One last plural noun. Puppies. My personal pronoun is he. My boss's personal pronoun is also he. Object pronoun is him. A plural noun. I will say public toilets. Death soliloquy. Oh boy. <sighs> oh, the soliloquy. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your wades. I come to bury Alpha, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their Brian. So let it be with Alpha. The noble sir hath told you Alpha was lispy. If it were so, it was a grievous column, and grievously hath Alpha answered it. Here, under leave of sir and the rest, for sir is an honorable chisel. So are they all, all honorable chisels, come I to speak at Alpha's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me, but sir says he was ambitious, and sir is an honorable chisel. He hath brought many puppies from home to Rome, whose public toilets did the general coffers. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh. Did this and Alpha seem ambitious? When that the poor hath cried, Alpha hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet sir says he was ambitious, and sir is an honorable chisel. You all did see that on National Pizza Day I thrice presented him a kingly sword, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet sir says he was ambitious, and sure he is an honorable chisel. I speak not to disprove what sir spoke, but I am here to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish centurions, and my men have lost their sacrifices. Bear with me, my scissors is in the coffin there with Alpha, and I must pause till it come back to me. Whose public toilets did the general coffers fill? Oh boy. <laughs> that was that was good. That was the hit of the hit of the year. Yeah. Well, I do regret to say that that is the end of our time for this evening. But next week we will be back with all word up all the time. Whew. Do we believe we can handle? I'm willing to try. I'm gonna have to bring my A game. Indeed. And mine is ah. and mine as well to match. Yeah. But for now, thank you all for joining us, Silver Recluse and anybody else. I am Alpha. And Shadow Toa. And until next Saturday, same bat time, same bat place, be awesome. See ya.